So what am I? Why Ben should oh move to God. Sweden? Oh my goodness! All right, am I? At, is it on stream? Yeah. Can everyone see. Yeah. All right. So, we were chatting before the stream about Ben potentially moving to a number of places. Uh, the least likely of which is Chicago. Most <laughs> likely right now are Yucatan in Mexico, <laughs> Guam, uh, Peru. And uh, uh, and I'm I want to throw my hat in the ring. I want to make the case for for Sweden for the great kingdom of Sweden, uh, and that's why I made this PowerPoint presentation. First, we have to go over the pros. Uh, everyone already speaks English. All right, you got <laughs> American TV, American culture. You got. <laughs> bookshops that sell there's always an english section in every in every bookstore they always they always sell english books so you can get those uh you can order stuff on the internet um <laughs> everything is everything that's in english on tv has subtitles instead of dubbing we don't dub over stuff unless it's children's cartoons which i don't think you watch if you do that might be a deal breaker Damn. Uh, but everything is is has subtitles, not dubs, so you can watch your Marvels and your WandaVision and whatever it is Americans watch. <laughs> we got it. Right. Oh my God. Netflix. Just check check off Netflix. The other ones, sure. I don't know. I mean, you Probably. can always use a VPN. Yeah, that too. Uh. Healthcare, you get it. Uh, I looked it up. You get really? healthcare. You get yeah, you get it. It's covered. You get you get paid next to nothing, even if you're just visiting. You cover you're covered by planned visits. You're covered by emergency visits. That's both of the kinds of visits. There are there are only those two, planned and unplanned. You get emergency everything, everywhere in the country every hospital every clinic you get covered all right you got it got the health care uh and you get dental insurance it's not free but it's not expensive it's fine it's all right and who goes to the dentist that often i don't i probably should though <laughs> but it's like 50 bucks i think it's I between mean... 50 and 100 bucks i think so that's good i love it um it's not classes to, to tell someone to go to therapy because they actually can just go to therapy. <laughs> oh I added God. this one while we were talking about it because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> you can actually afford to go to therapy here. I love it. And if you get uh, a reference to a therapist from a doctor who you can visit for free, then you can get therapy for free. Uh... If you don't get a reference, that probably means you don't need therapy. In which case, you can still get it privately if you want, if you just want to talk about your feelings. But uh, you need like a, if you have a mental illness or suspect you have a mental illness, you get therapy. If you just want to talk to someone because you're sad, that's not a oh my mental God. illness. You don't get, it's not healthcare. <laughs> uh, oh my God. You get benefits. You get unions 80 percent of workers and workplaces are covered by unions get collective bargaining agreements which means good wages you got the guaranteed five weeks paid vacation that doesn't apply to twitch streamers though i'm sorry damn uh you get 480 Almost. days of paid parental leave and you can share that however you want between men between the mother and the father or if there are two mothers or two fathers I don't know what your family looks like, but you can or divide none of them. You can divide the the days of parental leave however you want. Although I think one parent needs to get at least twenty percent. I think there's a minimum. I, one parent can't get it, all of it. Anyway, you don't pay taxes if you earn less than than two thousand oh dollars a year. My God, I don't know how much you earn a year, Ben, but. Maybe you you wouldn't even pay taxes if you lived here. Maybe. Oh my God. <laughs> mm. uh, 
you get free education. You could go to college. And not only that, you could get paid by the government to go to college. Again, Maybe again, I will move to Sweden. Wait, again? Does it? I already have a master's degree. Would I be able to? You could listen. You can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. Ben, I, I think, I you think can... you can do a PhD, and they will pay you more. Ooh. No. Oh. No, they will not. Oh. They will oh. pay you a flat fee of thirty. Doll, no, three hundred dollars a month uh, okay. to go to college. Literally, doesn't matter what you're studying. You could take a course. Oh, really? You could take a course in flower gardening for in English night class. As long as it's full time, and that's like what you're doing as your occupation. You got the the universe. You got the students allowance, baby. Ew. And you can take out student loans if you yeah. need them, which you basically don't have to pay back, uh, more or less. Mom, uh, I'm moving to Sweden. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I think the student allowance is unlimited, so you can just study at university for as long as you want. Nice. Uh, but if you're studying half time, so you're doing half work and half uh university i'm not sure how that works with the benefits you might not get the student allowance or you might just get less you might just get half which is 150 still 150 bucks you know and yeah it's not easy to live on it if that's all you do but like you know it's free money to to study which i think is cool um we have some of the fastest internet in the world that, that is actually a, in the next level top tier oh like plus okay that's very yeah. very important ben. look at it look at italy down there yes. how red it is oh no you were thinking about you want to move to tuscany forget that <laughs> the internet is shit there apparently sweden is not only the one of the greenest it's also the biggest one that is also green so cool I don't know what else you need other than this graph and the the source. It is the a bottom pretty left. enticing it's graph, to be entirely honest. Like uh, it has yeah, it's a got source. colors, it's got numbers. Yeah. Uh, a what, what more do you need? Like damn. public transport. We have it. Uh, <laughs> we've had it for a hundred and fifty years. <laughs> <laughs> when, we didn't invent trains, but when trains were invented. Boy, did we use them. <laughs> yeah, for you. Uh, you can go anywhere. You can even go to other countries in Europe by train. Uh, you can go to Oslo for $200, I think, from Gothenburg, where I live. So you can cross international borders via public transport. And that's pretty dope. That is pretty dope um and and it's not even that uncomfortable you get nice seats this is the economy class this ooh. is not even the nice this is the 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 normal the, that looks like first class, class in america right there that's like you can't yeah. get that on an airplane okay you get cup holders you get a little Damn. tray for you to put your laptop on it you get free magazines that no one reads <laughs> you do <laughs> That you will and probably not understand also. <laughs> and there is a restaurant carriage Ooh. where you can buy snacks. Okay, that and yeah. Oh baked my God. goods. I, I was uh, thinking that, but I wasn't gonna ask it because I was like, there's no way <laughs> that they have a restaurant like like there's car. a re there's car. a re always almost always there's a restaurant carriage. It's, I've been on maybe one or two trains where there hasn't been one, but those were short trips. Longer when you go long trips that are like two or three hours there's always a restaurant carriage where you can get candy or you can get food or sandwiches or stuff like that which I is might always move nice. to the actual train damn i'm this is actually highly persuasive this is yeah i know <laughs> uh rent is cheap because of government regulation i was we were looking at yeah. a website earlier where there were listings for apartments and you were like, wow, that's cheap. And I was like, I guess that is cheap compared to what you're used to. Yeah. And that's because 
we don't have market rents we have regulation although that might be dismantled depending on how far the neoliberal reforms go but for now <laughs> <laughs> i mean i mean they are really Ooh. here uh we have a, a cultural phenomenon called fika which is where two or usually two or sometimes three or four people gather and they drink coffee and they eat uh something sweet like baked goods like these which are a traditional swedish uh cake those actually look really like a little amazing pastries. they pastries. are very good they you can get them with with vanilla uh uh cream thing like uh like condensed milk kind of with vanilla in it or you can get it the traditional one is with almond paste which is like a sweet almondy kind of a nutty uh thing and then there's whipped cream on top and there's a sweet bun with with cardamom in it and then sugar on top it's very good uh temperatures it's not that bad. Um, in the winters, it can get cold. Dep this is These are the average temperatures, oh, average really? highs and average lows for Gothenburg. Oh my god, the average low is literally like 30 degrees higher than the average low where I'm at now. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Damn. It doesn't get that cold here, although it does get windy. So when it is a little bit cold, it feels like it's a lot colder than it actually is. Uh, so that can suck so you can feel like it's lower but still it's not that cold here because this is like a more of a southern city uh, and then in the summer it gets to a very manageable uh around 70 degrees fahrenheit yeah which some people are like uh, that's not hot enough for me Screw those people. If you live here for long enough, climate change is going to make that go up at least a few degrees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Also, also Iceland, Sainit, like, we were talking about, like, Ben marrying a, sh marrying a sure scapegoat for him to be easy to move, but actually, he doesn't really need to marry him. Like, no. apparently, it's easier is he already to for Ben to move there? So yeah. Yeah, and I didn't I didn't say that I would. I kinda uh that's not gonna happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Listen, I don't I don't I feel like it would complicate things in my current relationship <laughs> if I got married to someone else. <laughs> Oh my god. Maybe I'm being conservative. Maybe I'm I'm not as open minded as I should be. <laughs> but Probably. I don't think it would work out. I'm gonna always try polygamy. Oh my god. Uh what, how can things be this good? Because we don't have manual labor in our country anymore because it's all in Bangladesh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you. Let's all have a round of applause for the sweatshops in Bangladesh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you, Bangladesh. Oh my god. Thank you, women who work for next to nothing so that we can have affordable everything. Oh my god. Thanks, imperialism. Oh my god. Yeah. Again, uh, at least they are being truthful and honest. And that's... Uh, the Nazi party won't be in charge for at least two more years. <laughs> oh, my God. So, oh, my yeah. God. There's a plane going by. I don't know if you can hear that. No, I think my Wait, noise why it. does the Nazi party have blue flowers? Oh, every party uh, has a flower as an icon. It's a tradition. But tradition I like Tradition to blue. have a flower as a... As a election symbol i might I become know a nazi oh my god i mean if i move to sweden just say sorry what 
I might become a Nazi if I move to no, France just because no. I like the color. Oh my god, the no. flower. Yeah, I mean, no. if the Nazis get into power, you can't move to Sweden. That's kind of their whole deal. Really? It's to prevent you from, from moving here. Oh. I mean, <laughs> I will be there already, you know, like. Hmm. So, yeah. Hmm. Beaches. Oh Ooh, is that a picture of your actual beach? No. Uh, it's a beach. It's not a local <laughs> one to me. Oh, but oh, if it's, it's a beach Ma in Sweden, yes, it's in Malmo. Oh, okay, which is uh, a city south from here. But oh, so it's I like near I there. like the picture. It was a good picture. I see. I really want to get tan. Um, and I feel like I would have a hard time getting tan, and that's what makes me nervous. But if there's beaches. You can go to those uh, sunbathing things where they put you in a machine. Oh my god, oh my god. And you will be able to afford it, Ben, because True. Sweden is cheap. Okay, Extropian, I disagree. I reject all science that says anything along those lines. I That's another controversial... I'll save it for after the PowerPoint, but I have a controversial take um, where oh I, I reject science. Um, in a very specific category of things. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, but this is generally what beaches look like. You can expect this kind of quality from most most beaches. And this is into the North Sea, which you're like, wow, the North Sea, isn't that very cold? But it's not that bad, actually. You can you can swim in it if that's what you want to do. <laughs> oh my god. I've swum in the in the North Sea a few times. It's pretty 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 fine. <laughs> oh my god. It's Listen, very it's tolerable. Hot, it's not warm. Yeah. Like it's it's cold. Of course it's cold, but if it's hot it's in, in, and it's the summer, then that's what you want. You want the water to be cold. Oh my and god. you get used to it after a few minutes. Uh and if you don't like that, we have like the most lakes of I think any country in the world per capita we have a fuck ton of lakes nice i think there are like five lakes for every inhabitant of the country and aren't your lakes, lakes fucking everywhere aren't your lakes really clean because the because of your geology of there like they're pretty clean yeah like uh yeah never never come i don't know i've never seen a dirty lake so i i assume I don't know what a dirty lake would look well, like. Well, they just like the water is just like brown, right? Like, I don't know if you've ever been to the Midwest, but the lakes around no. here are just like, oh they're just brown, right? Because it's, it's, yeah. it's not, it's not because it's dirty. It's because there's like bacteria and algae that naturally grow there and like fish doing their mm. biz in the water. Gross. Um, but it's, it's, specific, it's because of the geology. Oh it's because of the geology. It's because mm. it's more like dirt and stuff around here and there's less just rocks, right? Um, you know True. and uh yeah um anyway uh the con <laughs> <laughs> oh my god there are cons there are some thank you oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my god oh my god i love it i love it yeah. um if anyone who wants to actually read them oh my god uh, oh there are cons there are a few what are those oh, oh my god oh, yeah, the nazis oh my god the racism the slow but unavoidable replacement <laughs> of social democracy with neoliberalism invented race biology oh my god oh my god monarchy anti-immigration i'm fucked for that uh, nationalism on the rise i mean hence nazis uh, problematic history, neocolonialism, part of the European imperialist system. True. Will inevitably join NATO. Oh my god. Liberal conservatives, popular resistance to real socialism, no small talk. Oh my god, I literally watched a video like a, a week ago <laughs> about that. Literally, I know it's a problem in Sweden. Oh my god. I don't know how you live. Elections potentially violate international law on secret ballots. Oh my god. Housing shortage. Yeah, the EU the EU kinda got mad at us and told us that our elections aren't democratic because there's no secret ballots. I'm actually a little oh. bit fine with that to be entirely honest. Like that's maybe another conversation, but like 
I'm kind of like, I have mixed feelings about secret ballots, to be honest. Okay, housing shortage. Right, jig jobs uh, yeah. are taking over. Fuck. Youth employment. I mean, I'm still young, so. Uh, won't be considered integrated until you can speak Swedish. Fuck. I won't marry you to get you a visa. Can I marry your girlfriend? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, Seb. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Christ. it's not really up to me to decide. Nice. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That was very informative. That was very informative. I, I'm not gonna lie. You've almost sold me on Sweden. I, I'm almost oh, sold. I, I don't know. But you forgot to in, in, mention one very important con is that weed isn't legal there. Okay, but that's true. It's not too far away from Amsterdam, right? I could take a train to Amsterdam. Yeah. And you could take a train to Amsterdam. There's you could probably. I think there's a ferry that goes to Amsterdam if you want to go on a boat. Ooh. Really? I think you can oh take my the God. boat to Amsterdam. Um, and also, um, it's weed is technically illegal, uh, but you can like you can get it. Like it's not a huge deal. Um. And prisons in Sweden are actually very nice. So if you do go to prison for weed, uh, honestly, it's not too maybe, bad. Maybe I should go to Sweden just to go to prison. Oh my God! And I won't have to pay for it. Oh my anything, God! You know. I think you Just might saying. be you might be deported before you go to prison. Fuck. Depending on your if you have a visa Damn. or if you're a citizen or whatever. Um and I marry you before I go to prison. Oh my god. Oh my no. god. Um Look, I'm trying, okay? Like <laughs> you at least are white fan. Like I need to really try. Um uh i guess but canada the big, the big like... problem with uh with prisons in sweden is that you can't just go to prison and then get free housing and food there'll actually be like the entire time they'll be trying to give you an education and a degree and then they're like yeah putting you into contact better. with a bunch of businesses and trying to get you a job and like pushing you to go out into the real world and be a functioning member of society. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. It sounds like a drag. So it's not just yeah. a free hotel you can go to if you steal some stuff. Um. I know how horrible. <laughs> they are literally giving you everything you need in this society. Yeah. Oh, yeah, would they let me burden. would they let me stream from prison? That's the real question. Is would they let me I'm pretty sure they will. Like uh, uh no. Um. Don't they have internet access? They have limited internet access, so you can go on like oh. Wikipedia. And would, would they let me the teach at the university? Would they let me teach? Is a master's degree enough to teach undergrads there? You can get a job as a lecturer. Like uh, good enough. Like I know I wouldn't can be you like because you because you can't be like a professor, like a real professor, until you have like a PhD. But like yeah, doing yeah. like the lecturing and the the like yeah. uh. See, there we go. It's, a, it's funny in um, in America, anyone who who works at, who teaches at a university is called a professor, I think. Really? But uh, but in in Europe or in most of the world, to be called a professor, to have the title of professor, you need to have uh, a PhD and something. I think you need to do something else. Yeah, like you have to do like a postdoc. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, cause it's I a could big deal to to be a professor. I would love anyone, anyone, any fucker can be a lecturer at a university. Yeah, you know, Ooh. all you really need to do that is to have like self-published a book about how markets are good. Oh! And become like the number oh one God. Amazon bestseller, Damn. In neoliberal category, and they'll give you a job as a lecturer <laughs> in economics one hundred and one. Carmen K six, thank you for the five hundred bits. Thank you for the five hundred bits. I appreciate it. Um. Yeah, my my I had a my professor in economics 101 was literally just a guy who had self-published a book, and I I knew. Oh <laughs> my god! Because he, uh, I bought the book before the before the class, and I brought it with me to the first day of class, and then I noticed Aww. that his face was on the back of the book, so I was like, "Wait, this is your book!" Oh my god! You just oh, you didn't know he your was book. your teacher. <laughs> oh my oh. god! Your teacher yeah. made you buy his own book. 
Yeah, it was like thirty dollars. Oh my God! Damn. Wow, what a racket! And it should be and and his first lesson should have just been like, and that's economics one hundred and one is you force people to to buy the book that you published when you were a lecturer.